Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2013, brought to you by Planning Center Resources. Never overbook again. All right, so we're here at NAB 2013, and we've come over to the Roland booth. And uh, Roland, as you know, has come out with all kinds of stuff over the last few years, from audio mixers to video mixers. Uh, they've come out with a cool little product, a uh, converter, conversion box uh, that'll go from HDMI to SDMI and back and forth the other way. And I'm here with my friend Rob Reed to uh, tell us a little bit about these uh, cool new products. So Rob, take it away. What do we have here? All right. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Well, we have the VC1 uh, series that we just launched here at uh, at NAB 2013, and some of the unique things about the VC1 series is lossless video conversion. Um, the other thing too is these are really rugged, uh, solidly made uh, video converters, a two millimeter thick uh, chassis. All the connectors on here actually screwed to the chassis as well. Um, so when you unconnect and connect all the time, uh, it, it really lasts for a long time. The other thing too is we support 3G uh, SDI over the SDI converters. Uh, which supports level A and level B. And we've also uh, implemented uh, HDCP support. So when you have copyrighted protected material, you can pass that through the video signal as you're converting it um, for live production. So um, today, actually, what we're showing is uh, the quality of the video converters. So we've actually launched uh, four of them here at the show. And so what I'm going to show you is actually conversion where it goes, um, SDI to HDMI. And what we have here is... Um, we have what we call a ramp, and what we have is uh, we have a scope on here. We're actually a waveform monitor, and where it shows the super rich blacks and the super rich whites. And uh, what we're showing here is the original test pattern. And then if you uh, click on the uh, the Roland uh, converter here, um, as you can see, there's actually zero difference um, on the waveform uh, monitor. Um, but we also have uh, some other brands out there that are not lossless video converters. So if I click on brand A. Uh, you can notice it's actually changed the, the waveform on there, so it's not lossless. Um, so I'm going to go back to the original test pattern. And then if I go to brand B, uh, you can actually notice that it chops off the, uh, the bottom of the blacks and the, and the top of the whites, so, um, which really uh, it changes your, uh, the brightness of uh, your blacks and your whites. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the white pattern here. And if I switch back to the original test pattern, you can actually see on here the blacks that there's a notice in the change in the color on this uh, on this ramp here. So it, it actually does um, it actually does modify the signal going through. And I'm going to switch back to the original test pattern, and then I'm going to go I'm going to switch to the Roland. And as you can see, I'm doing a wipe, and there's absolutely no change. So the next thing I want to show is um, we actually have what we call a burst pattern. And um, I'm going to switch the scope. I'm going to go to a graticle. It's going to measure the color space. Um, as you can see here, um, here's the, uh, the burst. And if I go, I'm on the original test pattern, and I'm, I'm on the wipe. So I'm going to go to brand, um, I'm going to go to the Roland brand first. I'm going to click on that video converter. And it's going to wipe down. As you can see, there's absolutely zero change in this, uh, this test pattern. And you can see there's a, there's a solid line there. If I go to brand A, uh, you'll notice that it actually changes the uh, the gradical here, and um, you can notice that there's a little bit of a, a color change on there as well. So I'm going to click on wipe, and now if I go to brand B, um, you can see that there's actually a significant change in the color space there, as well as there's a little pixel shifting on there. Um, so that's essentially what we're showing is that lossless. Um, it's very important, and especially doing live events. Um, where you want to have video quality coming from um, you know, your computer sources and your video sources where you don't want to have any loss because it is noticeable, especially for broadcast and for live events on screens. You can really notice it. So lossless is one of the key features of the VC1 series that we've launched here. Yeah, that's very cool. So now you have, uh, you have four models here, three of them that are pretty close to being ready. So let's talk about what those three models are and what their functionality and price point is. Yeah, you bet. Um, the first uh, two models are uh, simple uh, HD, SDI, to um, HDMI conversion, and um, again, it's it's lossless. It supports 3G SDI and HDCP support. That one's 495 list price. And then the other one is uh, the VC1 uh, HS, which takes an HDMI signal and converts it to SDI. 
And that one's a 495 list price as well. And the last one we're really uh, highlighting here as well is the uh, VC1 uh, DL, which is a bi-directional HDMI to SDI, SDI to HDMI, with uh, frame sync and delay built into it, which is great for doing live events where maybe you have uh, more of a prosumer style camera and a professional style camera where they have a uh, 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 different frames on there and so you want to be able to delay that before it goes into the switcher as well as um, you know, let's say for example you have a, uh, a video monitor um, like an LCD wall versus a projector and they have different um, uh, delay in there so you can actually delay the output and match up those screens yeah. on your live event so that's one of the, the cool things also on our um, on our VC1 series, you have audio embedding and de-embedding, which is great for monitoring, great for uh, web streaming, and recording uh, your live events as well during the conversion process. Yeah. Very cool. And the, uh, the the top end one, the VC1 DL. Uh, the list price is seven ninety five list price, okay. and these will be available in May. Okay. Perfect. So you definitely want to take a look at those if you're looking for some uh, conversion stuff, which we all end up doing at some point. We may not like to do it, but. We all end up needing to convert HDMI to SDI or the other way around at some point. So uh, visit their website at rollinsystemsgroup.com. I'm sure everything's up there. Yeah, we also have a, a dedicated microsite on the uh, VC1 series. You just go to vc1series.com and all the information is on there. Oh, so Perfect, vc1series.com. So uh, take a look at that. Uh, so that's it. More from uh, NAB 2013 coming up. <laughs>